Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to Evo Space. Uh, this is a game that was uh, suggested to me by, by John Dye, who just happens to be a really good friend of mine and a Patreon supporter. Uh, at first, uh, th I didn't think much about this game. Uh, keep in mind, before I begin, this is a very, very early alpha. They're still actually working on the game. Uh, but what it is, is basically Satisfactory or Factory or any of these logistical type uh, mass production sort of games. Now, when I first saw it, I was right away I started thinking about Rising World, and I didn't really think it was going to be that much, but I started doing a bit of a let's play, or private let's play, and uh, yeah, it was working out pretty good. Like, I, I can't tell you how in depth this game is. Now, we open up our crafting menu, it doesn't show much here. There is quests we can do with rewards and all that stuff, and as you can see, things start to get quite interesting down at the end and we'll get to that in a second here but this is just basic crafting stuff but if we open it up this is actually this this is our stone age so we have different types of crafting tiers for instance so we got our stone age where it's different wooden things decorations farms basic stuff then we get into the copper and there's copper machines boilers furnaces ore washers there's ore doubling in the game uh, there's two different ways you can ore double uh, you can get into a dust, which is a quick way of doing it. You can smelt that down and get, you know, one and a half times out of your ore. Or you can go to the gravel, which you can then wash it, wash your plant and get the ore gravel, which is your doubling. But it's two processes and it requires twice as much power. Uh, as you, If you have a look, uh, if you uh, middle click on everything, it shows recipes. For instance, this machine here requires kinetic energy and water. Kinetic energy is produced by steam. Uh, steam goes through a steam engine and produces this. Uh, as you get down, you get electric engines, which need power. And steam, of course, is generated by uh, water boilers. Water boilers require water input and use heat, which is fuel, comes out of a furnace. For instance, you go here to the basic furnaces here. Just burn something. You get a certain amount of heat out of a certain amount of time. And you get an ash, which, <laughs> believe it or not, this ash can actually be run through a steel electrolyzer and turn into carbon dust, which can be run through a furnace again. Uh, where is it here? Yes. As you can see, run through a furnace, gets you more fuel with almost no ash. So it's basically you're recycling your fuel and getting more bang for your buck. And then we can even get down into methane fuel and yada yada yada. I'm not going to start because this is a... This game is an absolute rabbit hole. But anyways, uh, there are different types of biomes. Uh, there's a desert biome over there. This is sort of like a mountainous biome. As you can see, we've got different types of ores. We've got iron ore here, copper ore. Uh, you can get dirt. You can get seeds from the plants. You can get wood from the trees. And you find these random structures and all that stuff. And there's a bit of a jetpack, but it's not really a jetpack. It's more of just basically a super jump boost, <laughs> which is really fun. But anyway, so let's see what we have here. Let's uh, go ahead and start grabbing everything. We do have a multi-tool. It does have j some durability to it. But, uh, yeah, I might as well grab the clay while we're at it. Uh, the clay we'll need eventually once we start getting into, like, the steel production where we need the coke oven. Because uh, we will need to make bricks. And There's aluminum. Aluminum is actually a, a really high tier. And, yeah. Uh... Uh, the multi-tool doesn't actually have used power or anything like that, but as you can tell, it does have durability. And it is going to go down slightly as I use it. Uh, I don't need too much copper right now because we're not really at the copper age yet. I do, however, need to find a whole bunch of stone because that's how we're going to craft everything. So then there's our inventory. Uh, each thing has its own stack size, for instance. Uh, like the fluid doesn't actually stack. There's ore water waste. And then we get down to here, yada yada yada. Uh, the stone, however, can go up to like a thousand. Logs are 32, and it varies on the item of how how many you can have stacked. So that is that. Let's see what else we got here. We got some iron. Wow, well, we don't need the iron right for a little bit. Uh, I do, however, gotta get some stone. So this is how we get stone. Simple as that. Completely voxel world. Uh, there is a bedrock layer. I I kind of had a bit of an issue where I clipped to the ground. Uh, there is a cave system too. I <laughs> almost walked into that one. Literally. <laughs> but, 
Yeah, that's what the jetpack's for. We can sort of build up and pillar just by uh, equipping it on a hotbar here and then yeah, just left click and you can play stuff. So you can sort of create stuff, create your own, own world, for instance. But anyways, we'll grab some of this. We got more than enough stones. We can make bricks in the Stone Age, which are basic building materials. These, I'll just craft one of these after you just saw it over there, but there we go. Uh, there. Pretty simple. You can pick them up too. And then, of course, you can take these things and run them through like a macerator, I believe, and get, get stuff back. No, you can't. Oh, the stairs. What do you know? I did not know that. Anyway, let's go get some wood. Uh, not unless we can find some coal, but we're going to need some wood anyways. We'll probably clean up some of these quests. Yeah, the trees come down in logs. Uh, there's two different types of logs, too. There's this, this log, and then there's a stone log, which is that big tree over there. We'll actually go over there and check it out. Uh, yes, the sounds do need to be reworked a little bit. Again, it's early access. Uh, you can jump, too. I probably should be doing that, but let's go get that big guy over there. Uh, there are no animals in the game. I don't know if there will be, but... Uh, with the amount of in-depth crafting you gotta do. Like, look at the size of this tree. And it's all gonna come down in one shot. And we stand here. And then we collect it. So this is the stone log. The stone log is actually twice as efficient as uh, the regular log. So yeah, here you're gonna get, you only get five heat out of the, the regular log. Let's uh, go here. Five heat out of a regular log. Ten heat out of a stone log. Uh, twice to burn time, and you get more ash, which, again, can be turned into carbon dust, which is, like, one of the best fuels you can get in the game. <laughs> Fun stuff. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and take this one down, too. Uh, as far as I can tell, the trees do regrow. I have seen a couple grow by my old base, okay? That is that, so let's go ahead and uh, clear up some quests here. So we're going to go up to the top here. I got the logs. We're going to get a stone furnace. I'll show the recipe on that. Uh, stone furnace is four stone plates. Four stone plates uh, is just two stone by hand. Now, you can do it manually, or you can do it through a machine, which a machine will do it more efficiently for you. For instance, say you do it yourself, something will cost two ingots. The machine does it, you'll do it cost one ingot. That sort of thing. So, anyway, so uh, we are going to go ahead and make a stone furnace. We'll probably make a couple of them. And these numbers here show you how much you can actually make of every item. If it's a full stack, that just says the full stack. So for instance, I can make 30, I can make a full stack of fences. I can only make 12 wooden chests right now. Um, and then stone dryers and stuff like that. So I'll go ahead and clean up that quest. And then we go to the stone dryer and stone smelter. And this is where we start getting to the copper. So we're gonna make two of those. I'm about to make two more furnaces and also two smelters. You may think it you may think it's a little too much, but believe me, it's not enough. Right, in fact, let's go back over here and get some more stone. And I think we might actually set up over here. Uh, is this the right way? Yes, it is. I can't wait to get my jetpack. Oh, I've never seen this biome. Yes, there are different types of biomes. There's uh, apparently swamp. There's desert. There's deep forest uh, usually will tell you right now it says grass but in some areas right here yeah you know, say pine forest and so on and so forth and I think yeah over here this is a good place to get stone I could get it down here but uh, until I get a copper jet pack going uh, we're gonna we're gonna stick over here somewhere safe so grab a little more stone uh, as far as I know, there is no way to pass tonight, but you can make torches and eventually get steel lights, which are, are pretty good. A little on the expensive side, but they're doable. So we'll do that, and then we'll go ahead and make a whole stack of... That's all we can make. I need more stone. But it, the game is currently active in development. I think it's only been out seven or eight months. So it's not too bad. And I'm not even getting stone. I'm getting basalt. 
Ah, <sighs> alright. Actually, can I use that? Uh, no, I can't. Alright, scratch that idea. I don't know if we get stoned from this. Nope. So, anyway, then we're gonna have to go over to the caves here, then. Let's go and check and see what we got over here. Uh, our home location is there. That's basically our spawn. But since this is open and we do have some coal here, I might actually just set up right here. Yeah, we got coal. Uh, and then there's, with the coal, of course, there's coke dust and all that stuff. And there's, uh, that was actually where we started. I don't like the crickets, <laughs> so I won't build, I'll start there. Let's, uh, well, I need stone. That's why I came up here anyways. Let's go check out this cave. See how bad it is. We're going to need the dirt anyways. Uh, we can grow bamboo farms, which can be turned into basically coal dust. Okay, I don't like this. Here we go. We can get in this way. Uh, what we can do... Where is it? Go back to here. Uh, looking for a torch. Uh, there we go. Best thing about the torch, too, is it's uh, dynamic lighting, so you can actually hold it in your hand. And it'll light up the area for you. Uh, there's different types of rock as you saw. There's basalt, there's limestone, and everything else. So there you go. And you actually can hold the torch in your hand and place it down if you want. Doesn't really light up the area too much. Okay, and pick that up. Grab that. Now what do we have? We have limestone, which gets us limestone dust. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for stone. Yes, this is uh, this is what I need. Uh, limestone is for other things, but to make the bricks, you actually need this stone. It looks like we hit some coal too. Oh, dark stone. What's that? Where's the dark stone? Did not pick it up. What is that used for? Purple bricks. Uh, I'm not much of a purple person. Oh, that's not what I want to do. On my multi tool. And how much do I have? That's it. 62. And a huge cave. That looks like a lot, looks like a lot of coal. What is that? Oh, it's more dark stone. Anyway, uh, I'm going to gather up a whole bunch of stone here, and I'll bring you back when I've got it. Okay. I got about about 100 or so, so I'm going to use that to make as many bricks as I can, so we have a bit of a foundation. Oh, I did have a little stack down over <laughs> where I got those from. Yeah, let's uh, do that, and start building. Uh, we're going to need a lot of space. So... I think we actually are going to go build over here, just because we can. So I'll run over here. Do, 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 do. Now what is that? That's iron. This actually should be good because we're close to iron. Uh, there is also redstone. Uh, redstone is just like the dark stone where it gets you bricks. So we do have red bricks, we have purple bricks. Uh, I don't know if there's any other coloring options, but... They are there. Uh, you know what? Now that I think about it, we probably won't hear the crickets because the machines are going to be making a lot of noise. And then, yeah, it's just a uh, simple building style like this. Uh, you know, it's sort of typical. Uh, what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to know how to make, make some torches. Now, you can left click to make one, or you can right click to make five. So, I'm going to go ahead and make ten torches can always get more wood. Uh, there's trees everywhere. Like, it's just unbelievable how many it is. And of course, there's, mach there's cutting machines that can uh, get you more out of your... Uh... I wonder what that green stuff is. Uh-oh. <laughs> you know what happens whenever I say, well, I wonder what that is. Let's go check it out. Is that just the swamp at night? Fireflies. 
Nice. That might be nice to build out here. And I do have another stack, so I'll get a little bit of an area set up here. Uh, I will be taking some holes out or some bricks out for places to put furnaces. So uh, let's actually see where we're at with the quest. So we gotta make a bed, and we gotta make our first copper ingot. Uh, our bed base doesn't allow us to sleep. It says our spawn point. Currently, there's a no way to die in the game, as far as I know. Uh, believe me, you don't take any fall damage when you're jetting up 200 feet in the air with a jetpack. Uh, but there is uh, bugs. And if we open up the menu here, there's a teleport to home. And that's just in case you clip to the ground or you get stuck somewhere and you can't get out, then you can come back to where your, your place is. Uh, I will not be using it as fast travel. Uh, my, like I said, the fast travel is once we get to the jetpacks here. Uh, that thing. That's fun, and I haven't even gone up to the, the higher tiers yet. Like, go all the way to Neutronium. There's no Neutronium jetpack. Okay, uh, is there hard metal? No, there isn't. Uh, no titanium. I wonder how hot. Okay, the highest is aluminum. Uh, believe me, that's going to be expensive. Anyway, I uh, got some torches. Let's get some torches on the bar here, and just to get a little bit of light here. Uh, unfortunately, when you build anything, the torches tend to break, so... Uh, yeah. Night cycle doesn't to be, seem to be too long, but that's fine. Alright, so now... I'll go ahead and uh, take a few sections out of the floor here. Uh, actually, do I want to do it that way? Because hmm. it's hard to feed the, the furnaces. You know what? Let's do it. Uh, we'll get that later. Uh... I will put them right next to each other, like this. Take one block out, and I fell to the floor, of course. Always me. Uh, one thing I found funny about the torches, too. Uh, I was do figuring this out. You can actually place torches sideways on torches. <laughs> uh, that's kind of funny. Alright, so let's uh, get a couple of furnaces down. And this is just going to be creating our fuel source. Let's see what I mean about the torches breaking. Ah, uh, alright. Eventually we'll get this steel so that will not be a problem. Now to access every GUI, every machine has a GUI. Just right click on the machine and it will give you an input, show you the input and the output. And you go to lock the input. So if you have, uh, let's say a conveyor system hooked up to it with multiple things going on the conveyor system, this will only accept certain items coming off the conveyor. So that is good. Uh, one thing too is it has a, an output buffer. So if the buffer is full, as we'll see here in a minute, it doesn't burn any more wood. Output is busy, so it just stops, so it doesn't actually use fuel. So you're not wasting fuel if you're not using it, or you're not using the heat being produced by it. Uh, okay, so we'll get that out. We'll uh, put put a stone for a smelter there, and we'll just forget about that torch. <laughs> That's going to happen quite a bit, and we'll put a stone dryer over here too. Uh, stone dryer has its own recipes. If you click on every machine, I'll show you the recipes. For instance, you can take unfired clay bricks, turn them into clay bricks. Uh, uh, different things like make uh, coal dust out of burning bamboo, which is going to be part of the farms that we're going to be doing pretty soon here. And so on and so forth. So, yeah. Now, let's see how many organic... I don't have much organic pieces, and that's what we're going to need next. So, uh, I gotta go get some organics, which is gonna be like the fern. Take that, and that's organic. Uh, it's not, you don't get it from the grass, or the bog, for instance. So I have to go around and find the grass, or uh, plants, and all that stuff, like the big bush. Get you a stick instead, because it's a bush. So I'm gonna do this, and then I'll bring you back when the sun comes up. I was wrong about the grass. Grass actually gets you a fair bit. Alright, so grass is actually a really good source of bio, uh, organic pieces, which does make sense. Anyway, I'll bring it back. Okay, well, I couldn't actually wait for the sun to come up, uh, because the game is alpha, of course. Uh, they do have sort of overrides on the day, so I can change it to night or change it to day. Uh, you can switch to back and forth between creative, but I don't know if it actually works or not. I was 
was trying, believe me, I was trying, but it was working. But anyways, I got a whole bunch of biomass and dirt and sort of what we're gonna need. First, we gotta make seeds. That's part of the quest here, right? Uh, oh, yeah, we gotta get copper going. Oh, I forgot. So, this is the smelter. Uh, has one f one heat input, and then your ore input has that output. Now, the copper ore can be put done in s many different ways. It can be done in a stone smelter, where you can get a copper ingot, or you can run it through uh, an, au an automatic hammer, which is steam powered, and it'll get you an ore gravel. So for one, you get one and a half. Now you can take that, you can run it through an ore washing machine with a little bit of water and kinetic energy, which I described earlier, will get you one and a half. So it is ore doubling. There's wastewater you have to deal with, but uh, we'll get into that later. But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, cook up a, st a stack of copper. While we're at it, we'll look at this thing and see what recipes we have. So there's three different tiers. Like I said, there's bricks, uh, juice fluid, it can be sugar dust. And that's actually something I didn't even know there was. Uh, cement. Oh, that's interesting. See what I mean? I didn't even know that. You can take the, the wastewater out of the ore washing plant and turn it into clay. Uh, in here, bamboo becomes cold dust. This is going to be our, basically our, uh, our fuel source. And even that, the cold dust, you know, when you go and burn that in the furnace, for each one you get about 12% ash out of it. And then the ash, of course, goes to the electrolyzer and becomes carbon dust, yada, yada, yada. You know what I mean, but let's go ahead and finish up this quest. We'll open that up. Uh, it doesn't tell you that it, you actually complete it, but you click the arrow. And now you can see that my multi-tool has gone from 0 0.5 to 1.5. So it's added to your ability. So then we'll go ahead and check out the other quest here. So we made the seeds. We got to make the pumpkin, uh, the bamboo. And then we got to make the pumpkin farm. The pumpkin farm is an in another interesting one indeed. Uh, because the output is hold on oh yeah that's right now uh, you actually get a different pumpkin out of it you get this pumpkin you take that and that goes through a fermenter and that gets you methane fluid or it can go through uh, one of the mixers to get organic pieces just need a little bit of dirt and pumpkin so you can basically make seeds uh, but the methane that's when you get into gas turbines oh, yeah you get it to gas turbine electrolyzer you get it to car more carbon dust and hydrogen out of it uh, let's see what this is I guess it's not there I uh, have fluid furnaces so you can burn it and generate heat off of the methane which you're growing off of pumpkins Sounds fun, isn't it? All right, so the next one is we're gonna make a bamboo farm, which we're gonna do. And then we gotta make a pumpkin farm, which we're gonna do. And then it shows you the crafting recipe here. Uh, I don't think there's any way to actually speed this up, but this is why you automate stuff. And of course, the higher t tier machines uh, produce faster. For instance, this has a smelting speed of 0.7. And when we get up to this, the copper one, it's gonna be a smelting speed of one. And then the steel, I think is like 1.3 or somewhere around there. So we'll go ahead and take that. I don't know why I was now putting. All right, so now we have these quests done. And that gets us up to 2.5. And then the next is going to be into the copper boiler, the water collector, which is an infinite water source. Infinitely generates water, even in the desert somehow. And copper pipes, and yes, there are pipes in the game which... Uh, transport all the liquids, including gases, so it's water, ga uh, steam, and so on and so forth. But that is going through. Let's uh, check our fuel here. So as you can see, that these uh, stone logs are lasting quite a while. That's good because I have a lot of them. Uh, stone dryer, we're not going to need just yet, but I think what we're going to do is actually make a couple more of those. Uh, two, three. Make three more. Uh, pumpkins, we're not going to worry about. That was just for the quest, but we also got to get the copper going. Uh, the copper is enough. Now, with the copper, we can use this to make different things. 
Now we can make plates, we can make rods, and then we can make blocks. The plates can be crafted into different things. As you can see, we can make uh, plates, rods, the, the casing itself. Oh, there we go. Uh, so we can make a copper pipe, which we also need to make through different machines as one plate. Uh, you get down to, uh, for instance, a, a copper casing is three plates. So that means that we actually have to make three plates. And to make three plates by us is two. If you get it going through an automatic hammer, it's only one. But it requires steam. And again, steam, you have to go through the boiler. And that's actually where, where we're going right now. So we're going to get a little bit more copper because it's kind of, kind of expensive for us to do it as right now by ourselves. We're going to make the boiler. And then we're still going to make the, the water collector. Uh, I'll find it. Don't worry. Oh, that's a copper furnace. Copper container. Oh, yeah. That one. Now, as you, this one requires a copper impeller. A copper impeller is four copper rings and four... Uh, one copper ring and four copper plates. A copper ring is actually just one copper rod. So, uh, the, the, it is quite in-depth. So, we still can't make the water collector. I think we're a couple more short. But anyways, let's uh, get these guys down. As these will start growing, they'll fully. These four will fully produce 60 bamboo in about 10 minutes. And I broke my torch again. <laughs> I told you it was gonna happen a lot. Okay, we'll put that there. And as you can see, it's sort of real-time growth, sort of like in raft and stuff like that. You can, I can harvest it anytime I want, but I gotta use my multi-tool to do it. Stone bamboo farm. All right. So this, how are we doing here? Uh, almost there. We have four. This might be a while, so what we're going to do is take that out. We're actually going to fall to the floor like I always do. And the reason why I left it open is because it's a little bit easier to get to the furnace, but I think I might actually put those bricks back. We don't need the stone, we'll grab the bricks. Right there and there. And because it's the uh, uh, furnace is low profile, we can still access the GUI, but i got to sort of dig down through that. I probably could put stairs in there too. That actually might be a smart idea. Yes, let's do that. Uh, like two stairs. Okay. And then take these out. Uh, I don't care if I get them back or not. Okay, I don't need logs and stairs. Now, again, you just hold R. If you hold Shift R, it rotates on a different axis. I think Control R does another one as well. And I'm just doing this so I don't fall through the hole when I'm trying to fill up the furnaces. Okay, we'll get the other smelter on. And we'll throw some copper in there. Throw a stack of petrified wood in there and double up our ore production. Because we just need basically one more to get that. Now, what else are we going to need? I uh, probably do need to get some iron. In fact, what we'll do is go get, grab a little more copper. And as you can see, they're already growing. Uh, we can automate the whole collection of that and processing of it and stuff like that. But we'll save that one for the next episode. We're going to finish this one up here pretty quick because I know we're running quite long. Uh, this is one of those games uh, that sucked me right in. <sighs> it definitely does. I think I'm probably going to end up sitting down here and doing like a good s five or six episodes at least. Get a lot of progress done. Try to at least get back to where I was. Get lots of ore, and we're actually getting a lot of stone out of that too. I really like the ground textures. Uh, I have all the settings completely maxed out on this for graphics, like uh, the details and stuff. Everything's on ultra, and I got the decorations on, and uh, on the max, which is like five. But the animations of some of the blocks are just incredible, like the the cutting machine. It's really nice. But I think we should have enough copper. Uh, copper smelted anyways. We're going to need a lot of this. This is going to be a lot of pipes and wires and stuff. This is actually what we're going to need for the wires once we get down the road. Uh, I didn't realize how much stuff you need. And even making some of the stone machines. You actually, uh, steel machines. 
you need copper in them. Okay, so up we go. Uh, we got another stack in there. Take those out. Uh, put that in, take those out. Just make sure it's all full. And I can make the water collector. I do need to make a pipe. But that pipe will be coming in just a moment. As soon as we get a little bit more copper. And I think... Oh yeah, I need two of them. I'll take that one, and... That one should be ready. Now, every block does have an input and output. Uh, the, the stone ones don't, but when we get to the, co the copper... Copper furnace, and or the copper smelter, that... Actually, the steel... There sh should actually be one. Uh, it doesn't show up. But if you... If I rotate it... Why is it not showing it now? That's the boiler. Hold on a second here. Start with the water collector. Now there should be... Should show an output. We'll just put that... See where we're put it over here. Where is it? I think that's it there. It's supposed to show up, but it doesn't. All right, let's make a pipe. I'm not actually going to finish up this quest. Oh. So that gets us that, gets us the valve. So the valve, uh, can you can turn off pipes. and uh, Turn off and open pipes so you can efficiently use steam if you want. Or your fluids and stuff like that. So we'll claim those. And then, then we start getting into our Dublin and our early automation. It is going to require a lot of... Uh, Hold on a second here. A lot of copper, a lot of automation, a lot of resources. But everything that d does in these games. So I'm going to take this floor out and take that out too. Because now we're going to put that down another furnace. Do that. Uh, I'll actually make a couple more stairs while I'm at it. Uh, one, two. Uh, there are different, different pillars and stuff like that. I may look into some of the building. I wonder if these actually have any use. I'm not going to even look into that right now. Alright, so... Got the stairs. Let's get those on the bar. There. And the furnace. Uh, put the furnace there. Oh, stairs are over here. So, and... The boiler goes on top. Boiler. And then grab the pipe. Oh. Oh yeah, we got one as a quest for, as a reward. Now it's not for some reason it's not showing it. Hold on a sec. That's better. Let me sh do this again. So there you go. You can see that that's a water output on the water collector. And it shows you that how much water it produces a second per each cycle. Uh, it's not producing a whole lot, but we don't really need a whole lot. Well, now we go ahead and we'll place a pipe. And then the pipes, you can see, they got little nodes on the side, so we collect that there. Uh, the water input just happens to be on the back. So we'll do it like that and that. Uh, got to make sure not to cross the pipes because you'll flood your, flood your machines, the machines will be full of water. Yes, that is a thing. We'll do that. And as you can see, this is producing heat. And you look at the boiler, and the boiler is actually outputting steam. A little bit of the smoke there, and we we'll go ahead and put a pipe on top, then I'll have steam coming out of this pipe. And that'll be in the next episode. I say I gotta get more copper going before we continue on, but there you go. Now you can actually see them. Every, every block's got an input and output. Green goes in, uh, red comes out. So I could actually automate these furnaces just by putting a conveyor or robotic arm here. Uh, there are ch containers, the chests, but the chests themselves are only input. So they're just for like, final storage but there's item buffers basically uh, we'll go back into it and I'll just show you copper age these ones uh, buffer chest and that's has an it has one output and five inputs and that can basically just connect different blocks together and acts as a buffer the higher tiers you go even up to here there should be one right here this one will probably have like six or seven slots worth of space but 
you need the titanium to get it there. Uh, there's computers, there's logistics, a lot of stuff. But anyways, uh, I'm going to end this one here. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, please don't forget to uh, leave a like. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Later.